to distill it down to its its little in a nutshell. Aaron Rodgers insinuated that Jimmy Kimmel is on Jeffrey Epstein's list and as such is some kind of a predator of children. And okay. um, Jimmy Kimmel was none too pleased about that. Fired off on <laughs> yeah. Aaron Rodgers, like devoted his entire opening monologue on the Kimmel show mm -hmm. to just destroying Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers since is no longer welcome on the Pat <laughs> McAfee show. <laughs> well, only a certain, not the whole list came out, right? It was just, I mean, I no, the, it was the just whole portions. list came out, but, but, uh, Aaron Rodgers responded and he's like, let me well, clarify right. what he's, I meant. Like, yeah, Aaron Rodgers responded basically saying, let me not apologize whatsoever <laughs> and like try to like get some digs in. And like, I mean, it's just a big catastrophic L from the way I see it. Mm -hmm. So our question at the moment is who took the bigger L? Who's the bigger loser of the week? Aaron Rodgers or Cat Williams? But why would you even think that Cat Williams took an L? Well, I mean, this is the... What did he do? What did he do that you didn't like? I mean, hey, he didn't do anything I didn't like. I'm just seeing that he attacked everybody under the sun, it seems like. He set about trying to burn every bridge he possibly could. <laughs> I mean, dude, I just went through a list. But he said, he, he's like, I have the receipts and everybody he that he has talks. the receipts for saying that Harvey Weinstein offered to S Suck his, his, S his <laughs> D. <laughs> like yeah. In, in front of a bunch of people. Like, he said a lot of things that actually there are no receipts for. Well, nobody has refuted anything that he had to say. So, like, people did respond to 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 Cat, but they never denied what he was saying. Uh, Tiffany Haddish uh, categorically denied. Uh, uh, she, well, she refuted everything that he said about her. Well, didn't he say that like the 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 people that are involved with the inner circle, their only job is to refute everything that is claimed against them towards like the Illuminati. You didn't hear him say that? Okay, so we're, now we've got receipts for the Illuminati. Huh? <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's what he's saying, you know, but nobody has said anything different. I mean, here's the thing. Um, I think that he uh, slung a lot of mud. He, he, he burnt, tried to burn a lot of bridges, and um, he definitely got a lot of news. I mean, we like the, the most uh, compelling thing we could think of to start the podcast – is yeah. the story about him like uh you know so you think that it was a huge w but why do you think he goes on this huge platform and just starts and just starts bashing everybody do you think there's a little bitterness between like everybody a lot of bitterness a lot of bitterness for, for sure, sure. Yeah. yeah yeah for sure 100 percent. there's bitterness with uh kevin hart mm -hmm. and tiffany haddish i forget what the origin of that was but uh now as far as career goes do you think tiffany haddish is more successful than cat williams <laughs> That's, I don't know, man. Cat well, Williams is... here's the thing, dude. Tiffany Haddish went from, like, not a, a like big celebrity to a bona fide, like, A-list movie star. And then she got tangled up in, in some kind of accusations and, like, some kind of a lawsuit situation with who Ari Spears was in. Mm -hmm. And uh, that really, really hurt her. Mm -hmm. And then and since plus then, she had a she's bunch had of DUIs too, right? DUIs. Mm -hmm. Really? Not yeah. a bunch. She got two, okay. but but still, like when you get a second DUI, like it's. So I think that I mean, okay. I, I love Tiffany Haddish. I, I love her, but I think that like objectively, like from a career standpoint, she like you know was, she had a quicker come up. She, well, no, she she's been doing stand up since she since was like a teenager. A teenager. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then she came up like, you know, whatever, like a few years ago. It's mm -hmm. like uh, more than a few years ago, but um, but yeah, she she came up a little like after many many years of doing stand up, came up humongously. Yeah, mm -hmm. meteoric, but straight to the boom, like. Like, you know. Well, so what do you think is going to happen to Cat after this? I mean, it, it, he's going to be doing larger shows because his popularity grew. And Rogan just invited him to go on. Right. I mean. I mean, he's he just blew himself up. And this is a new podcast. 
And I think well, it got right. like two million views, two million subscribers over. Oh my god, dude, that episode! Forty-one million views in seven days. Okay, but, but how much money is that many... on AdSense? Okay, so that's literally just the the Cat Williams episode has forty-one million views in seven days. Jesus! Wow. What's the, what's the AdSense revenue on that? At like five dollars? I mean, if per he's thousand. Got, if he's got mid rolls built in, uh, I mean, it's. Every million views, he's getting five thousand mm, dollars. I think it's probably more like every million views, you get a thousand. Oh, that's a dollar. Still, CPM. Still, still, that's uh, that's forty thousand. But if he's got mid rolls, then he's in the six figures. I I read something this morning that he he got a quarter of a million dollars just off of AdSense for this. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. And 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 I say that because. He's, um, you know, like, like AdSense is based on how ad friendly you are. That's why, uh, like my main YouTube channel is very low on the CPMs, mm -hmm. which is the, the, how much you get per thousand views. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm, uh, edgy. And Roman Atwoods <laughs> is through the roof because he's kid friendly. Right, right. right. It's family friendly. So I think that, uh, so you uh, think you took an L. I mean, I don't, you know, can maybe, you know what? Maybe I'm, I'm converted. Maybe you're right. Because, and like, especially because with all of Cat Williams' history of just being arrested, like, time, time again, like, violence. I think he just had, like, guns, like, mm -hmm. crazy one thing after another. He was just, like, constantly in trouble and doing very well in his career despite that fact. So do you think him doing something like this gets him blackballed from doing uh, like major he, motion pictures? He, was, he said he's was been in 60 movies. According to IMDb, it checks out. Um, I mean, he pays people out of his own pocket. He's adopted seven kids. I mean, there's adopted it, seven kids. Yeah, He's got seven kids adopted. I mean, the, the amount of stories that came out on him, I'm like, yeah, dude, like I was struggling and like, dude, somebody came up and handed me like a T-shirt wrapped up and he's like a front row at, a, at his seat and it was like a struggling comedian. And he's like, oh, I, I thought it was just a bunch of weed. And he's like, it came back. It was 15 grand. Richie Redding has nothing but good things to say about him. Yeah. I mean, the, the, he said he bought a, a, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, put 75 grand in for some some singer that... uh you know, he's like during that time, like she got hated on because of the color of her skin. He's like, like he bought her the star. I mean, I mean, he's a bona fide lunatic. I think is, <laughs> is what Cat Webb so I don't think he necessarily cares. And to answer your question, did he get blackballed? He's been blackballed, right? Like, and you know, that's why he's lashing out like this. Well, he he he's been blackballed because they said he was difficult to work with. But then his his reasoning was like, well, I'm just not gonna, you know. Yeah, wear a fucking dress. There was a point be before uh, Suge Knight went to prison. Suge Knight was like all of a sudden acting as his manager, or some weird thing. Really? Like yeah, put Suge Knight and Cat Williams. Suge Knight has a podcast that he does from jail from a payphone. No, he does not. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called. Uh, yeah, look that up. Uh, if so that's true, that's epic. Cat Williams said uh, his arrest alongside Suge Knight in 2014 wasn't what it appeared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look up uh, Suge Knight's podcast. That is just really, really funny. Um, Collect calls with Suge calls Knight. Collect calls with Suge oh Knight. Oh, my what God. How many, how many subscribers does it have? Collect calls. 600 breakbeat media. I mean, that's pretty epic. He's probably got some shit to say. Wow. Wow. Such a good name, too. It's a really good oh name my for God. a prison podcast. Too. <laughs> um, you made so, a lot of collect calls from prison? Uh, I mean, I was never in prison. I was in county jail, and uh, I, I made some calls. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling in prison? I mean, in jail. Whoever, you know. Like I, like, I was in jail for my dad's birthday. In, uh, in 1996, and I never had ever forgot my dad's birthday. It was the one time I didn't call my dad on his birthday because I didn't have the heart for him to pick up the phone and, and hear, you're receiving a call from an inmate oh, in a correctional facility. So uh, I just acted as if I forgot his birthday that year. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, when did you, did you ever tell him that like that's the reason yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I died I, I, many, many years later. Yeah. Many, many years later. Uh, yeah, he didn't know I was in jail. Um, 
But in any case, so uh, to answer your question, no, I don't think that Cat Williams' career suffers because of this, because like, you know, any uh, issues that it would cause have already been caused, is my guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does benefit him, and now he goes on Rogan. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, Kevin Hart took the high road saying, I hope his career kills it, and this and that, you know? And, like, it's it's a case where negative publicity is actually yeah. good publicity. He went, he went after Steve Harvey. Oh, my God, he, he went after to... everybody. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Ludacris. Cedric the Entertainer. Ah, uh, ludicrous. Like Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Hart, ludicrous. Um, Taraji. Or maybe he didn't go after her. Maybe he supportive. Her. I don't know. It was insane. Do you like shopping on Amazon? I do. And good news is, Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole are available on Amazon. And if you want a real bundle of a deal, you can get. Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, plus Stevo's butthole destroyer, and Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. It's the butthole bundle available on Amazon right now. Yeah, dude.